Carson. Really good to talk to you. That's Jack Carson there. He's a, a East, a West Midlands reporter uh, live at a pro-Palestinian protest. Well, joining me uh, from Israel to discuss the conflict is Mr. Fire Uri Geller. Uri, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, well, um, so talk to me. What, what's happening around where you okay. are and what, what are, what's going on? Okay, it's, it's really surreal because I just heard you st- uh, speak about penises. So from penis, I'll move to nuclear bombs. I'd like you to hear this carefully, Nana. Just two days ago, one of the biggest media celebrities in the United States, maybe you've never heard of him, his name is Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson interviewed Vladimir Putin, and listen, over 200 million views within 24 hours, 200 million. This handed a massive propaganda victory to Putin. But what your viewers have to understand is that Russia is one of the main destabilizing forces in the Middle East. Now, let me explain why this is important for your viewers to know. Iran could not be doing the aggressive things it is doing without the support of its biggest ally, Russia. Russia protects Iran and supports Iran economically and militarily. You know, the kamikaze drones which Russia attacks Ukraine with come from Iran. It is no secret. It is absolutely no secret. And in return, Russia supplies Iran with missile technology, fighter planes, and one of, one of the most advanced air defense system in the world. Now, Nana, do you remember last time I showed you the spoon that belonged to the Shah of Iran, who was exiled. I I believe I also showed you this spoon, this which belonged to Putin. That's a spoon he's putting in his mouth. I have connections. Now, very important, very important. Russia also protects Iran's nuclear weapons program. How? By using its veto at the United Nations and it also has given Iran billions of dollars. By the way, by illegally buying Iranian oil, these billions of dollars go to Iran's nuclear program. They go to Iran's friends, the Houthis, to Hamas, to Syria, to Hezbollah. Russia is basically pulling the strings. It is running rings around the West. Now, I'll finish with this. This is the last thing I want to say, very important. Just days ago, it was reported that it would take Iran just five months to produce enough nuclear material for 12 nuclear bombs. Remember, I showed you this last time, Mm. 12 nuclear bombs. Now, this comes from a very respected former United Nations weapons expert. Nana, listen. We are heading towards Armageddon. I know it, and I can feel it. And the only way to stop an Iranian nuclear attack is to attack Iran now. You Mm -hmm. have to cut the head of the snake. I'm finishing. I'm appealing to Rishi Sunak. Look at my eyes. Look into my eyes, Rishi. I'm appealing to Joe Biden. I I don't know how much Joe Biden is going to get into his head. But I'm trying. Joe Biden, listen. Benjamin Netanyahu, listen to me. Look into my eyes. Bomb Iran. Oh, we've lost it. We lost Uri on the most important bit. But anyway, well, I, I, I don't know if wanted to hear that because it did sound worrying. Uh, but that was Uri Geller. We just lost his signal there. So I can't tell you what he was going to say, unfortunately. 